Pokemon Cafe Mix. Pokemon Do you ever smile. want to play a Pokemon your puzzler on your Pokemon. Switch that's Are you getting sick of all these Pokemon, Pokemon spin-off games? Well, don't Pokemon you worry, game. we've thrown you a bone to an Nintendo Switch snap. Now the same Pokemon, Pokemon you guys use and have all the games and have all the Pokemon you have. Are you getting sick of all these Pokemon spin-off games? It's like a legend's last hour. I don't know. Oh, one million. We did it. <laughs> Clean this back up. Uh, I'll do like an actual... Oh, thank you everyone. Whenever the, the big play button comes. It feels weird to do it before the play button because then when I get the play button, it's going to be like, oh, that, what do I do now that I have the play button? And there's so many people I want to thank. I want to do it right. And so I'm, I'm going to wait. But... Until then, I want to say thank you so much, just all of you. Couldn't done it without you. It feels weird, uh, and thank you. But I'll I'll save anything else I want to say until uh, the big moment, I guess. Anyway, let's start the video. Surfs up, dudes. Cowabunga! I wore a very snazzy beach shirt. I don't know why. It's summer. There's a lot of things going on right now. I want to talk about a lot of things going on right now. There's stuff in the Smash community. Xbox is gearing up for some things. But you read the title, and I don't want to make you wait for it. I want to dive into uh, the Pokemon Company. Because I think they need to take a chill pill <laughs> and calm down a little bit. What the heck is happening with Pokemon right now and the insane amount of spin-offs? I did a little bit of a tally on how many Pokemon games we've got this year alone, one, two, three, four, five, six, that I can count. That's a lot of Pokemon, and I feel like 50% of it has been in the last two weeks. Wait, we hit one million subscribers, buddy? All right, see ya. Honey? Honey? What? Oh, no, sorry, not you. Uh, honey, the app that makes online shopping easy. Oh. Look, I, I just hit one million on the channel, and I want to spoil myself by buying a little something. But let's be real for a second. COVID is still an ever-present issue. It's worse now more than ever. So please, stay inside the house. And a great way of staying inside and not going out is shopping online. I need new clothes. It's been a while. Let's look at Forever 21, where all the hip, trendy youths buy their outfits. Yep, I hate pretty much all of this, but <laughs> let's grab this knockoff Death Leopard shirt because music, a mask because staying safe, some new sunglasses because I lost mine, and screw it, a rose shirt. All right, we'll hit checkout and boom, saved $10 on a $60 purchase. Honey scours the internet in moments looking for promo codes and automatically applied them with one click and now I saved a couple of bucks on each thing I wanted. I could do this again right now at Target, GameStop, Newegg and over 30,000 other online retailers. Not using Honey is literally passing up on free money. It's free to use and installs in just two clicks. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash beatemups. That's joinhoney.com com slash beatemups. Have you been there the whole time? Yeah. That this is awkward. Yeah. So we had the Pokemon Company host an event the day that the Sword and Shield expansion pass came out and they announced and, and showed off a few things like Pokemon Smile and Pokemon Cafe Mix and we'll take a look at those in a second. But at the end they said, and tune in a week from now for another special announcement. Why on earth they did this and they didn't just announce Pokemon Unite in this event, I don't know, because making everyone wait a week was hyping it up. There was so much speculation of more Pokemon remasters or what it could possibly be, but what it was, was Pokemon Unite. That one is a MOBA. You don't know what a MOBA is, uh, that's like League of Legends or Dota. And I'm actually, I've said this before, pretty big fan of that genre. I have played 1,314 hours of Dota. Uh, it's safe to say I, I, lo I love the game and I, and I love the, the genre, but it's also safe to say that looking at this Pokemon Unite trailer, that it's not a very fleshed out MOBA. I mean, it's a Pokemon game, so it has to be accessible to everyone of all ages and a MOBA is not accessible <laughs> to everyone. Not if you do it right. The thing about a MOBA is if you really want it to have replay value and you really want it to be um, engaging and fun and feel like every match 
feels different. It has to have a lot of different elements to it. But it just looks very watered down, very basic. And the the thing is, regardless of what it looks like and, and how fun it might end up being, nobody was really asking for this. The, the crossover between Pokemon fans and MOBA fans, I feel like it's not really there. It's such a weird correlation to me. And you can see by the dislikes of every trailer that Pokemon fans just weren't having this. And honestly, I'm not against it. Again, I like MOBAs. I, I just don't see the need for it. And it's strange to me because we've had so many Pokemon spin-offs. I don't know what the Pokemon company is doing, but it's going to end up like the Star Wars burnout of a year or two ago when no one cared about Star Wars anymore because there was too much Star Wars. It wasn't exciting anymore. There's too much Pokemon. We also have uh, Pokemon Cafe Mix, which I spent a whole night with the other night. And I gotta say, that also feels, again, I mean, you have to be accessible to all ages, and the puzzle, it's super easy. Like, it's almost impossible to fail. You drag your finger around the screen, uh, at least I played in handheld mode. I don't, can you even play it in dock mode? I should really know that. And all the bits and pieces move to, to get out of your way so you can more easily draw lines, and to me, that's just cheating. <laughs> it was just way too easy. And like all the good uh, mobile free-to-play puzzle games, they have the little abilities that help you do clear the levels easier that you of course you have to pay for once you run out of the first initial few that they give you I've already made a whole video on Nintendo and their weird mindset with microtransactions, but they keep trying new ways uh, of getting money out of these free-to-play games. This is another variation of Nintendo trying out microtransactions in something. Pokemon Smile, I think it's cute, and honestly, if that came out just on its own, and it was just like a standalone thing, I would be like, okay, no, that's, that's pretty cute, I get it, you're trying to help kids who is should be really your main target demographic, even though everyone loves Pokemon. It's a way to get them to brush their teeth. I don't know why Nintendo is so interested in kids' teeth all of a sudden, but it is cute. And I, if I had a kid, I, I would imagine that would be really helpful. As cute and clever as I think it is, it's another Pokemon spin-off game in amongst a bunch of others recently. So it's just another one that's like, and I feel like new Pokemon Snap, which by the way, I haven't talked about that yet, really excited. I actually said this back on the Wii U. It would have made more sense on the Wii U than the Switch, frankly, because you could have had it on the TV and then had the tablet as a camera, kind of like in the Fatal Frame game, and you could snap a little picture and the, the, the tablet would become the camera. You can't do that double screen action on the Switch, but it still works, right? You can still move the Switch around and, and snappy snappy like a camera. It's really cute and I, I like it. Nintendo and the Pokemon company though, they don't typically, they don't typically listen to what we want. And I almost feel like this is such a what the fans wanted thing and thrown in the mix, in the cafe mix of all these other spin-offs. It almost feels like, yeah, well, we are making a lot of spin-offs, but because of that, you got a new Pokemon Snap. So you should like all these spin-offs, right? You should like Pokemon Unite, right? Because you got Pokemon Snap. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe they would just wanted to make new Pokemon Snap, but it's cool. It's cool. I like that we're getting Pokemon Snap. I liked the Sword and Shield expansion we had recently. Super short. We played through it on Twitch in one very short sitting. We blasted through that in a few hours, um, which is fine. And I really do like the new wild area. I would have liked to have seen them add in trainer battles into this area still, but I like that you can pick a Pokemon, any Pokemon, and have it follow you around. Having Whale Lord trail behind you ever so slowly is hilarious but also cool. There's a lot to love about what Pokemon is doing right now with their franchise but it, it just feels like a lot and I'm worried about getting that burnout and I don't think anyone was asking for Pokemon Unite but hey maybe I'm wrong. I will say, sorry I have ice. I I love chewing on ice. I don't know if it's just me. I will say Pokemon Company please look me in the eyes here. Do me one request. I don't even know if you, if the Pokemon company itself is in charge anyway of Pokemon, the card game online. I love it. I, I told you guys I love it. I'm addicted to it. I can only play it on my PC though. There's no mobile port and there's obviously no Switch version. Hey, while you're doing all this 
throwing Pokemon everywhere. Please, can you bring the card game online to at Switch? I would love it on Switch. I would love it on Switch. Please. <laughs> That's the one I would want. I actually, I bought like a whole firework thing at the supermarket. It's not really, it's not fireworks. It's just a little poppers. And they were like, I got to the checkout with all my groceries. And they were like, can I see some ID? I was like, what? <laughs> Why? I forgot I put this in there. I don't even think about it. Why do you need ID though? Just for some party poppers. <laughs> I love this smell. Oh God, <coughs> I was too close to it. Why Why this channel hit a million? I still don't friggin' know. So we thought, we thought Sakurai was done. Done did with the, with the old new Smash characters. He said he was doing five. We got our five and then he said, you got, you know what guys? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do five more. This is a, this is a man who honestly seems like he never sleeps. I have mad respect to this man. I love him so much. He's he's a treasure. But uh, the first new character was announced to be an arms character. There was a lot of speculation as to which character it would be. He went ahead and cherry picked. He uh, he picked Min Min, which I don't know. I like Min Min actually. I think she might be my favorite character anyway. So I'm happy with that. It's cool to see Smash getting this much support past launch. Actually, speaking of that, Animal Crossing, which we all knew was going to get insane amount of support past launch, but it has a, a summer splash, water, mermaid, let's go swimming and diving update coming soon, which Kim's very excited for. And I actually haven't even glanced at the trailer yet. Kim asked me earlier, are you, are you excited for the, the mermaid furniture? It's not how Kim sounds. And I was like... Yeah, <laughs> this is really awesome because I do feel like I'm kind of trapped on my island to even see this little bit extra around the island. So you can go diving for sea creatures. You can get little starfish, which is cute. Obviously give them to bladders, put them in the museum. Oh, it's like, what is that? Like an otter? A mermaid dresser. Okay, that's what Kim was talking about. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Oh, all right, so... <laughs> We know a lot about PlayStation. We still don't know a price for it. We don't even know a date for it. I think that Xbox is waiting to find out PlayStation's date, like all of us, so that Xbox can make theirs first. I think Xbox is ready. I have a lot of faith in Xbox. I've said this before. I love my Xbox One. But there's no denying they didn't do that, that good this generation. And, and it... Most people have their eyes on the PlayStation 5. So I think if Xbox wants a chance, they're probably going to want to go a couple weeks or uh, around a couple weeks early. Anyway, as much as we know about PlayStation, we still don't really know anything about Xbox other than the way it looks and that it's a beast of a machine. We still know nothing. Uh, we are supposed to be getting an Xbox event sometime in July. At least that's what's getting thrown out there. This is going to be very crucial, very important. And I know a lot of you don't really care about Xbox, but for those that have been playing along at home or watching my videos or just know they're Microsoft, Xbox and Microsoft bought like 15 game studios uh, like a year or two ago. But we've seen nothing from them at all yet. And this could be Xbox's way of actually competing with that PlayStation 5 event and actually putting on an event as cool. It could be a really cool event. So whenever it happens, I will stream it on the channel. So keep an eye out for that. Speaking of EA's event, uh, we won't go through the whole thing because it was, it was, eh. Why'd this get so many dislikes? Come on. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. They showed that Apex is coming to Switch. That was the biggest one. A lot of you know that weirdly, I like a lot of, I like a lot of things. I do really like Apex. I, I play it fairly frequently and I am excited for this. But I think the coolest thing for those out there that are Switch owners like myself is that on top of this, EA announced they were bringing seven games to the Switch this year. What games? We don't really know yet. I have my fingers crossed for something like Mass Effect Trilogy, but that's support. Support we haven't seen from them really yet, and they're making the effort. And they told us they're making the effort for, so if you're a Switch fan, yeah, you have to at least appreciate that. The biggest thing they showed was the new Squadron game, which I loved the Squadron games growing up, so hopefully it, it'll be fun. Oh! Oh, good times. I just spat on the microphone. Good times. There's just a lot of things happening right now. I know I usually, I don't do news update videos. That's not really a thing I do. <laughs> There's so much happening around this whole summer of games thing. 
that there's so much I do want to talk about and get excited for. And I know, I know I'm falling behind in reviewing things. Everyone's asking me to talk about Clubhouse 51. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. It's a bunch of mini games. You want me to review that? Okay, I guess. I'm trying to do a, a, a lot of different things right now. I started streaming on Twitch. I finally made another video today for my second channel, and now I'm making this video, but I'll try and jump on all these games that I, I still need to review. Oh my gosh, there's just so much happening. If you still like these kind of videos, like it. Subscribe. No reason anymore, because, you know, we already passed a million. That one was loud. Two million is a long way away, but we can still make it happen. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye.